Sam? Yeah. Are you guarding my office? <laughs> it's funny. Thank you. Yeah. On Monday, the OMB is putting out a new formula for calculating the poverty level. I saw that. Does it need presidential approval before it goes to Congress? Yeah. What's the problem? It's a good news, bad news thing. Under the new formula, poverty is up 2%. It was any 117,524 before. Now it's 20,000. What does that check out to? Four million new poor people. Four million? Yeah. Obviously, that's the bad news. Yeah? The good news is, is that more people will be eligible for benefits. And taxpayers are nuts about that. Let's get back to the bad news. Four million people became poor on the president's watch. They didn't become poor. They were poor already. And now we're calling them poor. What was wrong with the old formula? I don't know. Find out. It's possible that this is a statistical reality and not a political fight. Well, get with someone at OMB and find out what was wrong with the statistical reality of the old formula. Yeah. Do it today. Yeah. It's like when they did the thing with the SAT scores and I got dumber 20 years after I went to college. It's a little like that. Talk to somebody? Yeah. Hey, Sam. Sam. Yeah. Bernice Collette. Thanks. Hey, Sam. How you doing, Bernie? I'm not wild about people calling me Bernie. Sure. What should I call you? Bernice is fine. But how will you know I'm your buddy? I'm okay living in the dark on that. Okay. Can you tell me how the current standard was reached? The new one? The current one. The new one hasn't been signed off on. We have to sign off on it. Why? It's much more accurate. Well, how was the old one reached? The current one? In 1963, an Eastern European immigrant named Molly Orshansky, who was working over in Social Security, came up with it. Food was the most costly living expense where she came from. Our cost of living formula for the last 40 years has been based on life in Poland during the Cold War. This is what I'm talking about. Food doesn't account for one-third of a family's budget. Housing is more expensive than food. The current model also doesn't take into account transportation and health insurance. So let's call the current model the old model and sign off on the new model. All right. Sit down. The kid's being held at... She's making a certain amount of sense. Isn't this one of those things that can be argued from all sides? Yes. And in one way or another, they're all right? Yes. You can put the numbers together a lot of different ways? Yeah. Okay, well, let's put them together in a way that gives us fewer poor people. Yeah. Or if we have to go with the new formula, delay as long as we can, we have to test it. All right. So three statisticians go deer hunting. The first one misses 10 feet to the left. Second one misses 10 feet to the right. The third one jumps up and down and says, I hit it. You gotta like a guy who comes with a statistical analysis joke. Certainly you would if you let me call you Bernie. Sam. Shouldn't we test the math before the president signs off on it? Create a pilot program, experiment for two years? Test the math? Yeah. You think we did this with an abacus? You know, I've always wanted to learn how to work an abacus. Because on the first date, when the check comes and you pull that thing out of your pocket, start adding up the tip? Well, that and your statistics jokes will have you blazing a path through the capital women. Yeah. You know, the new formula doesn't take into account regional differences in housing costs. No. You don't think it's worth it? We took the national mean. How do you suppose landlords in New York and L.A. feel about the national mean? We debated that, but agreed it was too difficult to assess when the costs change from year to year. So you drop the problem when the math gets tough. Look. You know who wouldn't be very pleased by that? Miss Holly Orshansky of Poland, author of the original formula, who I think is long overdue for recognition. Molly. Hmm? Molly Orshansky? Not Holly? No. 